the illiquidity of the staked assets is one of the difficulties in staking on the proof-of-stake networks. Users are deprived from the chance to profit of the extra yields offered by DeFi protocols available on the market when the tokens are locked and cannot be accessed or unstaked until the lockup period expires. Lido is providing an alternative to conventional POS staking in order to increase the liquidity of staked tokens and to make staking more accessible. So, let's start with what is Lido. Lido DAO offers a liquid staking option. Since the assets are locked during the initial staking of Ethereum 2.0 Beacon Chain, Lido permits the liquefaction of assets for use in other protocols. Getting liquid tokens in exchange for depositing tokens is known as liquid staking. Lido is run by a DAO and was established in December 2020, a few weeks after the release of Ethereum 2.0. In just one year since its launch, Lido DAO has grown to become one of the most well-liked platforms for liquid staking, with over $13 billion in assets staked. Lido, which was first created with an emphasis on Ethereum, is now growing to include other blockchain networks. Now let's examine how does the Lido DAO platform work. There are three main components to the Lido platform's liquid staking process, which are staking. Users can choose how much either they want to stake. The chosen amount is then sent to Lido. Minting. Platform provides minted, or Lido native liquid ERC20 coin representatives, staked either, or STETH, in exchange for Ethereum. The value of the coins that are returned is equal to the actual amount of Ethereum that users have staked one-to-one. -one. DeFi. The use of STETH tokens can increase yield throughout the DeFi ecosystem, at the same time eliminating necessity to lock up multiples of 32 Ether on 2.0 POS chain in order to obtain rewards. With a 10% fee collected for the process, the Lido DAO platform enables users to stake as much or as little either as they want on the beacon chain without locking them in. Okay, now let's present what is Lido DAO token. The staking platform's objective of creating a trustless liquid staking service is made possible by LDO, Lido DAO governance token. It powers the independent structure of Lido's decentralized ownership and decision making with LDO serving as the foundation for governance decisions made by the Lido DAO community. Additionally, LDO tokens can also be used for other purposes, such as managing fee parameters and adding or removing nodes from the network. Finally, let's present pros and cons of Lido DAO platform. Pros. Decentralized. Lido decentralized nature sets it apart from most other platforms for liquid staking. Voting for the future of Lido is open to all LDO owners. Staking flexibility. Any amount of Ethereum 2.0 can be staked and withdrawn using the Lido platform. The ETH 2.0 beacon chain requires users to stake multiples of 32 Ether. This is not the case here. Now, let's present cons. Expensive. Compared to most other ERC20 tokens, LDO is more expensive to transfer because it is a mini-me token. Because it raises costs overall, Lido needs to review its balance history to make sure the vote transfer vote exploit is not in use. Potential risks. Despite being a safe platform, Lido carries some potential security risks. First off, because the Lido code is open source, it's possible that there are exploitable smart contract bugs. Ethereum 2.0 is still undergoing development. Thus, risks related to it may have an effect on Lido. Adoption risks are another issue. If users don't adopt Ethereum 2.0 at the anticipated rate, STETH prices may fluctuate significantly. So, that's the end of this video. Now, if you have found the content helpful, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.